like, oh, did I just mess this up? I couldn't rock with that joint. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Wig Types. They were kind enough to send me another unit to review for you guys. It is also another edition of Wigmas, and today we are collabing with another one of my wig bays. I know her by Britney, but you may know her by the Hearts and Cake 90. Y'all. <laughs> She is the first wig collaboration that I had when I started my channel. I say it all the time. I know she's probably sick of me saying it, but I am forever grateful that she welcomed me to the community with open arms. And y'all, I just literally love her. Like, she is amazing. She lays and slays her wigs. I am always watching her content and getting ideas of things I can do on my channel, how to better my channel, how to better myself. She got your girl planning. Like, she just got, she doing it all. And if she teaching me, I know she teaching y'all. Okay, do y'all see the slayage that is Brittany? Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. Now, if you you are here from Brittany's channel. First of all, hello. <laughs> you doing? We are both giving you guys synthetic slays for the holidays. So if you want to check out her video, I will put it down below. Make sure you go ahead and do that though and tell her that Kyra Sean sent you. Before we get into my look, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. from wig types it is by outre it is a part of their perfect hairline series this is the new unit by the name of patrice this is what her card looks like i got her in the color 1b and she does retail for 42 dollars 94 the shoe does come with hd lace from ear to ear as well as a faux scalp two combs on the side one comb in the back and the adjustable straps there is an elastic band that's attached to this unit so if you want to use that unit to make this unit glueless you can definitely do that i do have the unit on my head thanks to that elastic band i did not spray my unit down at all i would definitely say based on how it's on my head it is fitting down pretty comfortably however my trend analysis is kicking in and i know from previous units this unit will start to get snug based on that elastic band because it'll start to pull back on my temples here they're not pulsating yet but eventually i can tell up in here it's gonna start getting a little rowdy it does come down pretty much ear to ear on me so that's good um just the snugness of the cap may get a little much if you have a big dome okay this is a high tech fiber unit so she is heat safe up to 400 degrees i think let me just double check uh, 
yeah this this she is this she is right there okay i use my blow dryer on my unit up here just to flatten this out a little bit because the way that she was kind of you know falling over i didn't like that okay now i didn't like that for me i wanted a more like neat and pulled together look for the look that i wanted i didn't get no tangles with this unit however i did get some shedding um and there are a lot of flyaways on this unit so you may want to go in with your wax stick or like you know your gel or whatever you need to do to kind of get those under control i did go in and brush mine to give mine more of a natural look just because i felt like the curls on me weren't really they weren't really curling over the way i wanted it to <laughs> with that joint so I decided to go ahead and brush mine through after I did that though I was like oh did I just mess this up but if you just go through and brush it and then kind of spruce it back up the curls will go into place they got some act right I also went in and cut my unit as you saw just in the bang area because it was a little bit too long and too heavy over here when I did my little flip over method and I wasn't feeling it it was making my face look weird to me I don't know I didn't go all crazy cutting layers no just cut the length off and make it even that's it now the lace that comes on this unit is a 13 by 4 HD lace and it also comes with the faux scalp. It's kind of just like, why do we need both? I know that human hair units do it, but with human hair units, they give you options for this fake scalp. It's not just one scalp. All scalps aren't created equal, okay? <laughs> so we need, you know, we need some options. The scalp they gave us was a little dark. It says the faux scalp is a skin tone, soft lace lining that makes the spaces between the lines of the HC lace appear smaller and an even more realistic scalp appearance. Say goodbye to lace lines and get the realest look with the faux scalp. Outre. <laughs> Y'all know better than that. With my glasses off, I can see the line. And y'all know I'm blind? And I will say, it wasn't as easy to cut it out because they do like double stitch it back and forth. So I had to find the stitch to cut the first one and then go in and cut the rest without cutting the actual lace on this unit. It took me a good like five minutes to do it. So not a lot of time, but if you don't have time, you're not gonna wanna do that, okay? The HD lace, in my opinion, blended down just fine once I went in with my product. So I don't feel the need, or I didn't feel the need to have the fake scalp, but I wanted to see it for myself. So I've seen it and I'm good. As far as this being like a perfect hairline I feel like it's a little blocky I thought I thought we were here Outre we were on the good track when it came to the perfect hairline the Melta hairline got your focus okay clearly it has your focus because you know the perfect hairline maybe a little bit too perfect a little bit more plucking will go a long way I promise but as you saw I didn't go in and pluck anything I just pulled some hair from right here just kind of open this up a little bit and swoop this down and that was it I also went in with my concealer brush that I use for my eyebrows and I just used the excess and jammed it up into the hairline a little bit to give the illusion that you know I got some gaps up in there I don't <laughs> that's a little tricky trick let me turn to the side real quick so y'all can see it okay this is how she's looking to the side and then this is how she's looking to the back can y'all see that the curls on this look really pretty now that I cut them like the bang just kind of pops up and gives it like a whole different look and I'm feeling it so nothing crazy I feel like this is a look I am happy with it and I really I don't really have any complaints like these are things that I can actually work with I can work with you know finessing my wig to make it you know how I want it it's just that if you're gonna call it the perfect hairline with the full scalp that you know that's easy to blend things like that I expect that to happen I want what's on the card <laughs> If you can do it to the melted hairline, I know you can do it to that one. Do it, Outre. <laughs> Outre about to be mad at me, but you shouldn't, okay? Because I've been gassing y'all up a lot lately, okay? So you get the truth, good and bad, okay? You, you know how I operate over here? Have a seat. Let's talk. <laughs> but I still feel like I look good, okay? <laughs> and on that note, that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Wig Types for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out Brittany's video. I will link her down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.